this was my work schedule so I'm so like my brain doesn't work right right now I'm gonna go out for breakfast I'm gonna go to my condo get some uh, some empanadas maybe a sandwich and a coffee and then I'm gonna work get into work at 10 today so confusing today is Thursday Thursday February 4th it's also my little sister's birthday my little monster my wife is gonna go eat with her and and her mom and her dad and then I'm probably gonna see her at night you guys saw her here on her birthday so yeah I wonder if Makondo has any like any egg sandwiches I'm really hungry I know they have an egg and cheese and banana that one's good but I want a sandwich like something big made it to Makondo I already got my coffee and I ordered my food waiting for it Great time at Makondo Coffee. Never fails. They always know. <clears throat> Excuse me. They always know how to attend people. It's awesome. How to attend people. I love Makondo. Follow them. Follow them. I'm early to work, but I really need to go in because I really need to poop. Oh my god. Goodbye. Just got to my mother-in-law's house, got out of work. Everything's amazing. It's gonna it's my little sister's birthday today, so we're gonna have a little little get together. Just a little bit of fun. And then I'm gonna head out to home, to home, to the house to edit some quick vlogs and I'm gonna go see my mom real quick, grab some food, maybe go to the gym. I'm really thinking about it. I've gained a lot of weight lately. So yeah. Actually, just so you guys have a quick reference, this is a picture of me before. Yeah. Birthday again? Where did you do this on Sunday? Huh? Where did you do this on Sunday? Again? Well, today's my actual birthday. So, of course, you can I was going to go to the gym. Was. Just got home. I really need to fix that. I'm such a mess. I just got home, had a great talk with my mom. My grandma's not doing very well. So just keep her in your prayer, guys. Like, that's all I ask from you guys, please. Uh, just pray for my grandma and my whole family in Venezuela. But I'm not gonna talk about that right now because negativity is just not good. So let's talk about something awesome. I wanted to talk about a little something called luck. We don't have luck. We have blessings. We have to thank God for them every day. It's awesome that everything plays out the way we want it when it does. But when it doesn't, we have to understand that God just wants to show us something better that we need in our lives. And it's crazy because sometimes we're too stubborn to see that. Sometimes we're just like, damn, bro, why did this happen to me? Wow, why did I get into a crash? Wow, why did I get out of work so late? Wow, why am I working this job? It's not that. It's, wow, I'm so blessed to have this job. Wow, I'm so blessed to be getting out this late. Something could have happened to me. Or maybe you got in a crash and you're like, damn it, man, why did this happen? It's not why did it happen it's it's more like maybe you were going too fast and you need to slow down and sometimes we crash and metaphorically we crash and we just hit a wall and we stop we need to stop and examine why we stopped we need to stop and see what we're doing wrong and what we need to fix so it's simple examine yourself examine everything you're going through examine what you think about life examine what's going on in your life right now that is not doing well try your best to uproot that take it out of your life and fill up that with some brand new fresh soil i know it's hard it's easy to say it it's super easy to say snag it out of my life but it's hard to actually do it 
It took me a while to get away from incorrect friends. It took me a while to get away from places where I wasn't supposed to be. But little by little, I know that God has been molding me to be able to let go of those things. There's still things I need to let go of myself and I need to stop and examine myself and see what's going on in my life that I need to get away from. And I encourage you to do the same thing because we're all human. We all have something in which we either fail at or we mess up in or something that holds us back from where we need to get. Don't let anything hold you back. Be the man and woman God created you to be. No one else. So my wife is finally home. Where's my hand? My wife is right there eating cereal. How's that cereal? Good. I'm eating it with water. You're not eating cereal with water. You're eating cereal with milk. Why are you eating with water? It's like water. So, but it's milk. Oh, you. So confusing. Whatever, guys. Just want to wish you a great night. Sleep tight. Mm -hmm. God bless. What? What's wrong with you? Why are you whining? So long. Have a great night, sleep tight, God bless, goodbye.